Hello dear friends, Fisher here. Previously, we talked about Bruno chase out evils. And now Bruno gave a bit more explanation of what happened. And Bruno said, it was the mother of that community leader who had pulled in so much evil to the extent that nobody around was able to speak and of course not me and nobody cannot deprive me of my heavenly divine peace and everything is in a state of peace and calm so what the mother of the community leader had brought to herself was terrible and it was the most terrible things that any human being can attract in terms of evil and she had a hoard of every sort of evils clinging on her big, small, great and greater and I could tell you how it happened but you wouldn't believe me because you don't believe in what you cannot see or feel so in that situation I let you hear that that's how the sound the great commotion happened because I made it happen because you cannot see so I let you hear now you hear that and then you wonder what's happened and yes dear friends you would never have imagined how one person alone can bring in so much evil and here dear friends again Bruno talking about his heavenly divine peace his state of peace and calm and Bruno always stress about it that it is very important for one to stay peaceful and stay calm so when a person is in a state of peace and calm completely calm that no evil can attack him because he's in the state of divine being he's in the state of divine peace and he's constantly connecting to God and God is beyond all evils dear friends so by staying peaceful and calm we're connecting to God constantly and God's divine power flowing through us constantly it is that divine power does the healing does the protection to us to every human being so it is very very important to always maintain that connection so when we stand in front of evil or any people bad and please do your best to stay calm because any slight of agitation in front of evil will break that peace will break that inner calmness when our inner peace is disturbed and then we cut off ourselves from God's divine protection and will be prone to the attack of evil how to stay calm and peaceful dear friends first do not look at or do not hear anything is disturbing do not pay attention to anything bad whatever you hear on the news turn it off turn all the bad news off I have a TV but within the last seven years I only watch it a couple of times and a friend of mine couple came here watch once I do not watch TV anymore I do not need to there's a greater things to do for me is to absorb God's divine power to do Einstein to meditate to constantly gazing on God and gazing on Bruno gazing on good and when I do Einstein that is absorbing God's divine energy I mentally keep affirming the good affirming calm 
affirming peace. And I think the most beautiful things in my life, which is once I was sitting in front of a cliff, and I saw the waves comes and goes. It was in the middle of nowhere. It was between South Australia and Western Australia. And nobody was around me, and I felt so peaceful and calm because I was in God's divine nature. So I was privileged to have that experience. So I hold it within my mind every time when I meditate, absorbing God's divine energy. I keep thinking that beautiful pictures I had in my mind, and I keep feeling of that feeling I had when I was alone, sitting in front of a cliff. Is that feeling, dear friends, you need to bring about, or do you feel you see the calm picture? You really feel about it. You see yourself. In a very joyful state, so you look at that picture, and then you feel about that joy you once had, and continuously feeling about it, and it is that kind of great feeling will help you stay calm and stay peaceful. I wish you have a good day, dear friends, and God bless.